Oh, my message is just to be yourself and and spread the energy, spread the good energy. You know, especially nowadays in the times that we live, um, it's uh, there's so much other energy. I get my energy from everywhere. Energy is everywhere. Scientists have proved that it's everywhere. I just love doing what I do. I love people's reactions. I love pe putting smiles on people's faces and whatnot. And it, it just adds to life. You know, my catch slogan is uh, making life better than it ever could be. <laughs> it's not the same when you're, you know, when you're me and when you're with me. <laughs> Oh, I just, uh, how you doing, buddy? You're welcome. Thanks. My pleasure. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Good oh, it's luck going with great. Your things. All right. Muchas gracias. Uh, salud, amigo. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> I'm the best candidate for it, you know? What the? Oh, yeah. We can do photos for you, man. I appreciate that. The top is a fitting place, I think. Yeah. <laughs> even above the top, yeah. it seems even better. Yeah. I recognize myself as a spiritual being. I mean, deep inside, I know that I'm an angel. And, you know, so we come to this physical world called the earth and called this dimension, and then we try to find things that help, I, help identify and associate with what we really are. It's kind of in a way how a man might feel like he's a woman, or a woman really might feel that they're a man. They're born into a certain um, for, I guess for them disposition and they're trying they'll do whatever they, it takes really for them to really be able to show the world who they are and that's why they change themselves and augment themselves and that kind of thing so I, I really understand I'm coming to understand that more now than ever um, you know me being an angel and just identifying with angel and angelic My mom, she was, um, she, she adhered to the Christian, Catholic, um, you know, belief system and whatnot, and I went along with it for a while, and then I just found other routes, and, you know, I found a lot of parallels within the religions, yeah. I don't want to come off as, like, all, all religious and things like that. I, I like to keep it light. <laughs> Do it for the fun, yeah. too. 
<laughs> I love it. Hopefully I stick around on Earth long enough to, you know, to make people happy. I read a little bit about your journey, you know, and how you started out. Well, I was born naked. Years ago. <laughs> born naked. <laughs> it's crazy. Can I get one from the back? I didn't get the one. I, I took it for the, the lady. Uh, yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, there we go. Straighten it out. Tense it up now. Uh, money. I'm. I'm in the corporate world. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm. Uh, what's the guy? Peter Parker. <laughs> I still gotta make it back and everything. I still gotta make it back to the future. So I gotta, I gotta pay my toll. Let's see what we got. You guys, we're doing like that. How's that? All right. I just gave him a nice tempo on the other side. I'm sure you understand, all right? Let me borrow that. <laughs> you know, the, the first time I really thought about receiving tips or even tips coming to the equation is when I just parked my car. And the guy, he was like, I was like, oh, it's Times Square. Um, where's the uh, Times Square building? He was like, oh, there's two. I said, oh, all right, where's the cooler one? <laughs> I was like, oh, you think I fit in and stuff like that? And yeah, yeah, that's after I already, I had them in my trunk, the trunk of the car, the BMW. And um, he's like, yeah, yeah, then you see people dressed up. And I was like, all right, that's definitely where I need to be. It sounds like, you know, that's, that's exactly w uh, where I'd fit in. I should move here. I should move to the city now. <laughs> Absolutely, I love people. I am um, a social entity, very much so. But there are times, don't get me wrong, there were times in my life where I was the introvert. And I was, you know, I guess that was the part of my life where I was, um, the energy was being created and regenerated, if you would. Yeah. So that when I was, when I was eventually able to be put out in this type of setting, I'd have the substance, I'd have the material to be able to give to you guys. You guys, hey. <laughs> I don't know, is that video or what? Yeah, this is video. Oh, all right, great. I, that's cool. Our cameras can do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a music studio in my basement uh, in my mom's place when I was living there and um, one of the times I invited somebody in they called me up you know I used to rent studio time and whatnot I was a music engineer and producer and that kind of thing so one person in particular uh, came in and they brought somebody that I didn't know and then they tried to stick me up with a at the time I thought it was a BB gun <laughs> and I heard a pop and that's when I realized that it was a real gun. <laughs> and I actually got grazed on the side of my head, the top of my head. You can feel a little dent here. So the police came, yeah. I called the police, um, paramedics came. I drove myself to the emergency room after they uh, were able to like patch it up. And, uh, and then I, I made the plan to get out of Connecticut. <laughs> he said, give me everything. Give me everything. And you know, when the police officers, he went, and um, he, he basically told me that he wanted my music studio. He wanted to be me. And uh, it, it's not easy to be me. <laughs> Just because 
you know, there's a lot. It, it, there's a lot of density here, and I think it's um, a, it's it's very heavy for someone else to be who I am. Energy is the density, if you think about it, because if there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of mass, and there's a lot of electrons and protons and neutrons, and there's just a lot to deal with. Um, not just in the physical world, but the mental world and the spiritual world, you know, emotional and how we react to certain things and how we feel and make other people feel and just uh, what we're subject to and what we subject other people to. So, um, yeah, so after that I had to get out of Connecticut. I was like, yeah, I have to get to safety, you know, and it really prioritized my life. Mm -hmm.